What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Super excited about this video because it's something that I've been meaning to do for a really long time with my chiropractor and friend, his name is Mike. He came to me and said, you know what, I think your audience would super benefit from something like this. I really wanted to do it with him because he's so intelligent. I've known him for years. He always, always, always teaches me and reminds me about good spine hygiene, which just means keep your back flat keep your core tight. And something that really, really helps us all be able to do that is essentially to train your core in the right way. So this is like an ab explaining training video, but it's not just for like getting better abs, it's for, it's for, it's for getting a more strong core, which helps you in every single aspect of life. We get up, pick up heavy stuff in everyday life, we walk around, we stand up, we sit down, and every single thing that we do has to do with our core. Having a strong core helps you with every single aspect of life, not just for <laughs> looking better, but it's, it's just to keep you strong in the middle and your center of gravity. So we're gonna go through about 15 to 17 exercises. I'm gonna go through them, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what they are, talk about them, tell you guys what to do. And then something that you can do after this video is you can take a couple of these, implement them into your, into your routine a couple times a week, focus on them, practice them, come back to this video, refer back and see if you're doing things right and just getting the right cues, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get into it. So this first exercise is just a regular plank. So my forearms are straight in front of me, my two fists are tight, I am pushing the floor away from me and trying to not drop my mid back towards the ground or stick my butt up too much. And in the next exercise, it's, a, it's the same exact thing, it looks the same, but it's called the hard style plank, which essentially just means that you squeeze everything as tight as possible and shaking immediately is actually supposed to happen. So you lock in your lats, you stiffen your core, you squeeze every single muscle below your face and your neck, you hold for 10 seconds and release. And the point of this is to go for more neural drives, so you're getting more bang for your buck with this hard style plank. The next exercise is called stir the pot. So you get a stability ball, mobility ball, whatever you wanna call it, and you, you spread your feet out a little bit, and then you take your forearms, push it there, push the ball away from you, and then you're gonna go clockwise a couple times, and then counterclockwise a couple times. And then the thing to focus on here is to keep your upper back from sagging again, and keeping your feet spread does help a little bit, um, so focus on that. So this next one is called a side bridge. So the things that you should be remembering here are to be, are to keep your shoulder and your elbow in the same line. I'm holding my arm out. I'm basically doing like a drive my hips up and forward type deal. And that's gonna be held for 10 seconds and then released. And this is like the beginner level. Second intermediate level is gonna be just a side plank. So same idea, elbow and shoulder in the same exact plane hold, 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 and then what you're gonna do is keep your hips driven up and forward, hold for 10 seconds and release. And this is the final and most advanced um, of this, so it's gonna be the side star plank. Same exact thing as the bridge, except you have a band around your knees above them, and you're holding it up, so it's just an added challenge. So 10 seconds, hold, and then release. And the next thing that we have here is a reactive plank roll. This was like probably the hardest thing for me. So like the whole idea behind this is to roll in one all like one one motion here so as opposed to just like immediately bringing your hips back you want to focus on like right behind your rear delt like you want that to be like the first thing that goes so your whole entire body moves as a unit so and then you're going to bring um your arms and your forearms uh like horizontal like that and then and then keep your arm out as well so again the hardest thing is to remember to use like your your upper back and roll that along as like a full unit with your hips as well. And this is again, just really about stiffening the core and making sure that everything rolls as a unit. You can like see my abs here, they look crazy. They were looking really good that day, just saying. I was excited. <laughs> but again, the hardest thing was just to make sure that you're rolling as one unit. So the biggest thing for me was to remember um, to start with like right behind my, my shoulder. This is a similar thing, except it's an extra added challenge. So it's essentially like you're holding a single arm plank for a really, really long time. So essentially what you do is you have the valve slide on your back or whatever object that you want to use, and then you take it and then you do that same exact roll, but then you put it back on your back, switch arms, don't shift your hips at all, keep your hips in line, grab it and then roll again and get into that side plank position. You see me like struggling here hard, I'm like, what do you mean? What do I do? Um, so that was really difficult. 
This one I really will enjoy. So it's essentially like combining a upright, combining a, a row with a side plank. So you can either put the put the band around like a pole or something, or you can have someone hold it for you. And then again, you kind of go through that progression of doing the side plank with the side bridge with your with your leg up, and then doing the progression with the rowing movement as well. So I really like that. It's like using your whole body as a system, trying to train it as one unit. This is another one of my absolute favorite things. This is in Mike's top five. He always mentions it. It's called the bird dog. So essentially what you do is do opposite arm, opposite leg, and you push your heel back. You're not, you're not trying to do a glute kickback. You're just pushing your heel back and you're trying to keep your arm um, as like stable as possible. And the main thing is to not like make sure your hips don't go side to side, keeping your hips forward. And this is something really hard for me. I tried so hard to do this. Make a square with your arm and your leg at the same exact time. Super difficult, but an extra progression. So this one is called the clamshell, and this is for stability of the pelvis and the trunk. So again, it's not like a specific ab targeting exercise, but you're, you're keeping your trunk and your uh, pelvis stable, which helps, again, your body moves as a unit. So another thing that's not specifically an ab exercise, but doing glute bridges and single leg glute bridges with a band. Um, again, your, your body wants to pull your knees into abduction, sorry, adduction, and the band, the band wants to pull your body, your knees in, into, into each other. So it provides feedback to the brain, which is gonna activate the gluteus medium. Um, and then the thing to remember is to not overarch your lumbar spine. And this is a Paloff press. This is a little bit more advanced, but I love this movement so much. So you're gonna be on one knee and keeping one leg up, and then you can, again, wrap the band around a bar or something like that, and then just bring the band out, and you can bring it up and down and middle again. Um, it puts a sheer load on the spine, which is essentially like a torque. And if this produces any pain for you, any of these movements, stop immediately and see your chiropractor. Um, I'm not trying to say that I'm an expert here and I'm a doctor, but this is my chiropractor friend, Mike, who put me through this. So again, if any of these give you pain, please go see someone immediately. Um, this is another one of my favorite thing. It's called the chop and lift. So again, your power is transmitting through your stiffened core. So this one, you're just gonna try to pull here and then push with the opposite arm. And again, it's, a, it's an amazing movement. Just try it out if you have a friend. This is definitely a more advanced movement. This is a dead bug. So this is a core exercise that you've probably seen before. Um, it's one arm and one leg. And if this is too difficult, you can try one arm and one leg at the same time just to start, but moving them again as a unit and keeping your core stiff and trying to eliminate any space between like in your lower back area is what really uh, really makes me feel it. So this is again, another more advanced movement where you're doing the dead bug, but you have a um, anti-rotational pull from another location. So I have Mike here pulling on me and I have to keep my core super stiffened while I'm doing the leg, um, the leg movement. So that one was crazy hard. Uh, this is a valve slide. So you can use a paper towel on like a hardwood floor to emulate the same exact thing. Um, essentially it, it helps prevent knee pain and stuff like that. And he's telling me to push my hips back first and just really focus on pushing the hip back. Same thing here, push the hip back, push the hip back. And he's just like, so, so focused on my form. It's awesome. Can you like see him there? Um, this is another thing you can do with like paper towels on the floor. So this is called the plank saw. So what you're going to do with the plank saw is just that it's, it helps you tie in your lats. It, you lock your rib cage to the pelvis and you stiffen your core. So you just go out as far as you can and you're not trying to pull your, you're not trying to like pull your core in. You're just trying to pull your arms in super fast. So these are back and forth carries and I kind of look like Frankenstein here, but these are awesome too. So you can do just a suitcase carry or a front raise carry, which is what I'm doing here. You can use a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell. Um, this is a bottom up carry. So I'm just going back and forth here and attempting to not let my hips rotate because there's a pull coming on one side. So if I can focus on keeping my core stiffened when the pull is coming from one side, I can, I can essentially make sure that I'm strong on either side of my body. Um, this is called a high, low plank. So it's essentially a plank and then you get into a position where you're in a push up position. And the thing to remember here is just make sure that you're not uh, moving your hips at all. And then keeping that, um, keeping your, your upper body tight as well. And this last and final progression is just a plank and then you're pushing forward, pushing backward and do that a couple times back and forth. 
All right, everyone, I hope you guys found that helpful. If you did, give the video a thumbs up and comment below what you found the most helpful, what you're gonna be incorporating into your routine from now on. And make sure you give Mike a follow, guys. He's super, super, super smart. I think he's gonna be starting his own YouTube channel soon with informational stuff like this. I'll put his information in the description box and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.